suicide. Living in a world so divided, it's hard to feel accepted. Even when I feel like I'm at peace with myself, my soul just screams out, let me free. Let me be free. I always wonder why I'm, they call me crazy. Probably because I'm not like them. Alright, I'm about to go in. Alright. <sighs> Fuck, they got me going. information we discussed via the phone. Uh, when you're finished, that's when we'll begin the case study. Hey. Terms and conditions. These things make me feel nervous, like, you know, like I'm signing my life away. <laughs> Your life? Thank you, Mr. Moore. Um, when will I receive my compensation? You will receive compensation only after the case study is completed. I'm going to be needing your cell phone now. My cell phone. Ah, thank you, Mr. Moore. Sure. Remember, compensation will not be rewarded until after the case study is completed. Good luck. 
Must be here for the case study too. What's happening, nigga? You remember me? Nah, man, can't say that I do. Been a while. Think about it. Tyrell. Tyrell. We was young kids. Been a long time. We was maybe nine, ten years old. Matter of fact. Last time I seen you, I was trying to get you to run to the convenience store with me to steal some shit. But your little scary ass didn't want to do nothing. Tyrell? But the only Tyrell I know. Yeah, sir. That's me. I was trouble. Bad. You know, my hey, daddy was in the whoa. streets. My mama was on dope. What's... That was my lifestyle. What's going on here? Why we gotta... You was always smarter than us, though. So you didn't do nothing. But guess what? Two years later, DOA, pronounced dead on the scene. Robbery gone wrong. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Yo, what the fuck? Yo. Well, well, well. Mr. Out of Town. I hated you the moment I saw you. New clothes, new shoes. Standing there all confident in yourself. I don't have any idea who the fuck you are, man. I just... I wanted to turn off any glimmer of light. Kill any chance of you ever amounting to anything. Little did I know that that would make you stronger. More confident. Hold your head higher. And a chip on your shoulder so large a forklift couldn't move it. It's funny, it all came from a concussion. No, no, this, this just can't be fucking real. It made me hate you even more. <laughs> Bro. So much so that I hated myself. Come to think of it, maybe it was reverse. And it's probably how I grew to take my own when I tried to make a nightmare for you. My life. <laughs> Gotta be fucking kidding me. Look, I know you love me and everything, but I just don't think that this is gonna work out anymore. And before you ask me, no, it has nothing to do with who you think it does. Enlighten me. I just don't feel like you can give me everything that I want and need. Like, you sit and you talk about all of these dreams and these ideas, but you don't even work. Like, baby, how's that supposed to happen? How are we supposed to accomplish any dreams or ideas? I was in high school. Honor roll student, first team all league. You're right, you got football, you play sports, but I need more, like, I need a real man, period. Like, and... Right now, I just need time for myself. So I've blocked you on all of my social media and on my phone because I need some space. Like, when you get a job, maybe call me, you know? Maybe we can see what the future holds when you get a job. But like right now, I just don't see anything coming from this. Like. I mean, 
I gave you so much of me. <laughs> I had feelings deep enough to swim in. And you, shallow as a fucking puddle. I'm not shallow. I, I just shallow. I just want you to have a job. That's it. That's it. I don't feel like that's unreasonable. So I gotta go. Hello. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Frank? Hi, I'm uh, Anna with Corporate America. I'm the hiring manager here. How was your drive up? You do have your own car, right? Uh, well, anyway, why don't you just uh, go ahead and tell me a little bit about yourself? You stood between me and a better life. I was the perfect fit. I had all of the qualities. All of them. Um, it actually says here that you don't have very much work experience. Can you uh, just kind of run me through what kind of qualities you would bring to the team? It never mattered. My qualities were overlooked by the color of my skin. Uh, well, as you can imagine, here at Corporate America, we picture all of our employees as the face of the company, so it's no secret that we strategically pick each and every person for every position. So, um, I guess I just want to ask, uh, why should we choose you? I never had a chance. Not even the slightest. Well, um, I think I have about everything that I need. Uh, this process usually takes uh, about a week or so, so I guess we'll be in communication then. What kind of man can let his family sit here and struggle like this? I'm trying. Trying? Trying isn't gonna put food on this table. And to be honest, I am tired of it all. I know you work, but it's not enough. What do you want me to do? Between child support, mm -hmm. taxes, insurance? Like, I'm stretched thin. <laughs> That little bit of child support you pay, that ain't taking care of anything. Yeah, you get her shoes and clothes every now and then, but what about all the stuff I do for her? She sees all the BS you do, and soon she's gonna realize that you ain't shit and never will be. Fuck what you're talking about. I don't wanna see my daughter. No. No, you can see your child when you can get a better job and provide. And I found somebody else. Somebody that's willing to treat me the way I want to be treated and will be a better father to your child than you've ever been, Frank. A grown man, not a little boy who still hopes and dreams. All I ever wanted to do was to never let my daughter feel the way I felt. Loneliness, abandonment, not feeling loved. No matter what happened between me and you, I always made sure I was with my daughter. Mr. Moore, 
This concludes today's case study. Your payment will be received within 24 hours via direct deposit. You may exit the facility. Franklin Moore, we have reason to believe you're involved in the murder of James Reese. Put your hands in the air. What the fuck? Step man? down off the porch. Step down off the porch. Come over here. Hands in the air. Hands in the air. Put your hands on the hood of the car. Hands on the hood. Keep them where I can see him. Keep them where I can see him. What the fuck is going on? Who are you? You have a right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. <laughs> now you see that? See what you did? Look what you done went and did. <laughs> Look what you did. Look what you made. And the freeze in my ice cold veins. What you made. 10 degrees in my ice cold veins. What you made. Word is born, dog, but I feel pain. Uh, semi-automatic, call that bitch righteous, scheming is a habit, feeling like I might just run up on a nigga, flexing with his ice, it's teacher's ass a lesson time, is your life a blessing, I'm probably possessed, I just want to check, homie this America, they'll hang you by your neck, erase all your history and tell you it was vexed, destroy your whole family, promote the same sex, exhale, breathe, this could be your last breath, put your hands where I can see them or a bullet in your flesh, product of environment, a child of on the gut, forgive me for my sins and protect me from the feds. Yeah, nigga. Where the cash at? Uh -huh.